It was a dark and stormy night. As usual, my time was occupied with important private eye business. An unusual client came to see me. Her name, Gertrude. She was a tall drink of water. No, literally, she was a glass of water. And she told me something was wrong with her friend. She had this pal, Miss River, who was feeling a bit off. Warmer than usual, a bit cloudy, scummy, stinky, just not herself. And she says to me, I don't know what the matter is, you gotta help me. She was all shook up. Lucky for her, I've got just the thing to crack the lid on this case. The Earth Echo Water Challenge Test Kit. Time for this gumshoe to get wet feet. I went to see Miss River. And once I got a sense of the place, I got out the kit. First I measured pH levels. That's how acidic the water is. Healthy water should be neutral, around seven, or light green on this scale here. Oh, looks like we need to add some color to this one. Next, it was on to dissolved oxygen. Fish gotta breathe too. Healthy water has plenty of dissolved oxygen in it. Unhealthy water, not so much. Next up, turbidity. Turbidity is just a $10 word for how cloudy water is. The more gunk, the higher the turbidity. And the less light gets down to the plants on the riverbed. Time to take the temperature of the situation. If the water is too hot, it can harm aquatic life. I got what I needed, but I didn't know what it meant. I needed some help. Thankfully, I knew just where to churn. Monitorwater.org slash brains on has the know-how to help me interpret these results. And you know what, kid? They can help you solve your own water mysteries, too. Find out how you can become a brains on water detective at monitorwater.org slash brains on. And don't forget to enter your data at the Earth Echo website. 